Uh, so this afternoon, I'd like to share with you some brief insights uh, about lessons we learned after a fire at the Oshawa Community Museum. Um, the next slide is going to show a quote by uh, George Bernard Shaw, and uh, it's uh, it's quite a longer than I thought. <laughs> um, it's a quote about um, what you would say if there was a fire in the National Gallery, and it actually uh, is quite true. Now I know I should have changed my mind. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so this is the quote that I'm going to draw your attention to it uh, afterwards because I can tell you from experience it's true. You do say what's closest to the door. <laughs> so on the night of December 17, 2003, the Oshawa Community Museum was the victim of an arsonist. Our main administration and archival building guy house was severely damaged and closed for nearly 18 months after the fire. So it's said that out of every bad situation, some good must come. And uh, it was certainly a great learning experience uh, for the staff and board. I mean, I have to draw some good out of it. And I wanted to share with you some of the uh, top lessons that we learned during our experience. Uh, this is uh, the morning after the fire. Uh, Guy House was built in 1835 and is completely a frame building, so we were quite fortunate that we had anything uh, still standing. And the fact that the fire happened in the evening, we're located in a lakefront park, so there isn't a lot of people around uh, during the evening, especially in the winter. So we were very fortunate that uh, someone did see the flames and called in the fire. Uh, lesson number one, of course, is emergency plans, and I urge you, if you do not have an emergency plan, uh, to get one. Uh, any sort of emergency uh, preparedness uh, plan is certainly worth having. Uh, the problem with our plan was uh, I had it in my office and it burned up in the fire. So, um, you know, plans are great, but don't make my mistake and take yours home with you that you do um, have it. And also remember that not everything is going to go according to your plan. Our big uh, problem was that because it was an arson, our site was declared um, a police zone and we weren't allowed into the building for three days. So we had uh, the collection sitting in water um, for those three days. And that's the uh, inside of the building. So lesson number two, of course, what to save. Uh, I wanted to bring your attention back to that uh, shock quote at the beginning. Um, you know, that certainly is something that uh, we face. The firefighters did ask me, what is it that you want to save? Fortunately, we were in our archival storage room, so I was able to say absolutely everything in this room, whatever you can get out, get out. Um, I would suggest that you would have some sort of priority list, and we have since done that in each of the rooms of our museum. So that if a fire does start in, let's say, the parlor of our historic home, and we're asked that question again, we have at least one or two items that we're able to recall right away that are top of our priority list. Um, interesting enough, a lot of the items that were saved um, from the fire were reproductions because I guess they look the best. They look like they're good. They thought, oh, these are great things. We'll save those. So uh, another lesson learned. Um, the third lesson, um, there is a reason we pay a lot of money for proper storage boxes, and I would urge you to make sure that you are using proper boxes. Um, the powers that be that uh, pay your bills at the museum, if you, if you have to talk to somebody about spending money on a proper archival box as opposed to any other box, it's well worth the price. Uh, that is what saved our collection, our archival collection. The boxes were wet, they were blackened, but inside the documents were fine. And without proper Hollinger boxes, we would have lost most of our archival collection. So I do urge you to pay the money for them. Uh, the next lesson, your insurance coverage. Um, prior to any tragedy, it's always good to meet with your insurance agent, make sure that they know your site and really understand what your coverage is. 
Um, museums are in a unique situation, and uh, I was very fortunate that our agent had spent quite a bit of time in our, at our site and was able to know what our collection entailed. Uh, finally, colleagues. Since the fire destroyed our offices, we didn't even have a pencil or a pad of paper. So after news began, began to spread about our um, situation, offers started coming in from everywhere. And we were very fortunate to, to have that. But especially like to thank Parkwood Estates and the Oshawa Library, which immediately sent staff down to our site and supplies to help us. But I have a list of um, colleagues that you know that you can call if it's in the middle of the night and you have a tragedy such as ours. After 18 months of restoration, we reopened in May 2005, uh, better than ever. With the um, cut of the ribbon, I went from running the oldest building in the city's inventory to running the newest building in the city's <laughs> inventory. So that was uh, exciting for us. And if I could just add another uh, quick note, just no matter how bad things are, just know that they do get better finally at the end. There is an end to, to the tragedy. Thank you.